In this session, we are going to talk about uh, character-driven screenplays. It's a continuation of what we discussed yesterday. We spoke about plot-driven screenplays or how plot plays a significant role in developing screenplays. In this one, in this session, we are going to look at how characters um, play a significant role in the development of screenplays. So, how character-driven screenplays are written. Uh, some examples. These are the things that we are going to touch upon. So in a character driven screenplay, the characters and the development is the main focus. So while writing or while attempting to write a screenplay, your focus uh, would primarily be on characters and how you are going to develop those characters over a period of time within your screenplay. Various characters bounce off one another. What does that mean? That they are going to collide, they are going to set up against each other and that you Take the narrative in different trajectories and they remember that like in life our characters are going to come from different space different walks of life carrying their own baggages their own exposures their own um, histories and their own insecurities so all those things you need to keep in mind while writing or developing screenplays which are character based so when characters are set against each other there is a certain kind of friction that is bound to happen and it is this friction that causes the story to develop and move in a given direction one example that uh, i thought would illustrate what i am going to discuss is a film by nicholas winding refn called drive and it's one of the perfect examples of a story that is supremely character driven if you swapped out driver with someone else the story would be completely different since much of the drama and action in the film comes from the driver's distinct point of view on other characters within the story. It's primarily those of you who would have seen Drive would uh, know that why that particular character, driver's character, takes so much of primacy in the story and why uh, the narrative is told from the driver's point of view or why he is chosen as protagonist and why his point of view kind of overshadows but the characters in terms of understanding, in terms of the worldview that he offers within the story. Constructing a character-driven screenplay requires a certain honesty about human nature and a keen attention to detail. So what, uh, what is the thing that you need to keep in mind is your examination, your understanding, um, whatever value equation you are bringing in, in terms of understanding human nature in general and then the characters that you're developing in particular is important. So you need to pay attention to how they live their daily lives, what sort of internal world they inhabit, what sort of external world they inhabit, who they hang out with, what kind of aspirations and ambitions are there. All those things matter right from smallest of the details regarding each character to the larger worldview that they want to project. So all those things eventually matter and it is largely how honestly you want to attempt writing these characters that would ultimately define where your story is moving and whether you have been honest and uh, your judgment, your sense of judgment is uh, good in terms of projecting this screenplay. As a writer, you have to constantly assess how your characters interact with each other and the world around them. Now, when I say interaction, I'm not referring to physical interaction all the time. It could be, you know, intra um, personal communication happening right inside the character's mind. And that would have and some uh, that would have some sort of an external impact in their uh, choice of actions, in the choice of events the kind of decision making that they would engage or involve themselves in. So when characters interact, there is this conversation that can become extremely significant in terms of the development of the narrative. So see how you're placing the character, characters in the universe that you want to write about or expand on or develop on and uh, how they engage with each other uh, is what would ultimately help you broaden the scope 
of uh, a character driven screenplay you need to know what they would do in uh, nearly any given circumstances so you place yourself and coming from a point of view of the creator of those characters think how you would act or behave in a certain condition and why this sort of a cause based action or event is offered to those characters why these characters are going to um, act or react a certain way so it is your justification and logic that you are ap applying to this um, characters decisions motivations ambitions aims and further their actions that would matter at the end of the day in order to do this well you have to start with the believable well defined interesting characters that will allow you to make the most of your story often stretching it and changing it in ways that will surprise you as you write and that is the best part about writing you know when you tend to start a screenplay that there could be a lot of confusion there could be um this position of yours which uh, might seem uh, like okay i don't know much around this world how do i go about it uh, as in when you start developing as in when you start writing you would know that how you are adding layers to the characters um life and the decisions and the motivations and the spirit and the aims ambitions everything that you are projecting through this character within the narrative are going to get stressed and somewhere it is going to change your world view about the characters that you write and that is the best part of writing that with each passing day when you are uh, sincerely engaged in the development of the story there will be surprising moments dark knight is another film that is almost entirely character driven those of you who have seen christopher nolan's dark knight can easily remember each of the characters very distinctly and why this film is um, primarily important whenever we tend to illustrate about the discussion um, on character driven screen plays remove any of the characters from the film and that would substantially alter the end product it would be a different story at the end of the day surely the film is about two men the joker and batman competing against one another but the entirety of the film is constructed upon how the various characters provoke and interlock with one another so it is not just about batman and joker it's about the secondary characters and the roles that they are going to play in kind of empowering joker and batman equally and how they are going to uh, have a larger impact in the kind of decision making that joker and batman both are going to engage in so every uh, action and the event that you follow in dark knight whatever is aged out in terms of scenes and sequences has some sort of a characterial engagement some sort of a characterial examination and it is written with that sort of layering even removing minor characters like harvey dent or rachel fundamentally alter the film trajectory they have a role to play there is a reason why uh, harvey dent and rachel are integrated into that universe so when they are there they must have a larger role than just being there okay people don't walk into your life for nothing whether it is your friends or the enemies or your families or people whom you have control upon people um who just walk into your life very organically and maybe uh, leave it happens right it happens in life similarly it happens it would happen in a cinematic screenplay as well so each character when plays you have to be very thoughtful around why these characters are uh, introduced at the first place and what roles they are going to play uh, in the larger development of the narrative and how they are going to uh, you know add values to the lives of the characters that you have chosen on uh, the primary characters whether it is the protagonist or the antagonist with this approach you if you take away the character there is no story because it is the character not the idea that is the cornerstone of the screenplay so whenever you are developing a screenplay remember it's the development of the characters people are interested in if you take the uh, characters out of those situ situations or the plots whatever you want to say then the idea falls flat okay if x is not uh, aiming to become a civil servant why is not 
uh, uh, wanting to take a revenge because of whatever has happened in his uh, past, then if you take the X and Y of the story, then what is going to hold the narrative? Even if you have a lot of plot points, even if you have a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of events and actions, who are going to perform, who are going to enact those actions and events? And what is the reason um, why they would choose to do this? Your character is more, is your lifeline, the heart, the mind, and the soul of your story. Remember that your story is um, complete only if your characters are strong and uh, they are progressing from you know act one to act three. Just remember that in a character-driven screenplay or story, the characters drives the actions. It's not the plot that drives the actions. Plot could be motivational element. Plot could be an ambition element. A plot could uh, give them a reason or a cause to move forward. But it is primarily the characters who are going to take the story forward, the narrative forward. All the decisions they make come from an internal space. Okay, like it happens in our in our lives. It's not the external that impacts us so much. Somebody says something to you, you don't react immediately. There's a possibility you might carry this thought along. Okay, whether it, it comes in terms of a positive influence or an inspiration or comes from a space of anger, dissipation, depends uh, depending on what kind of a situation you are placed in and what are you confronting. So when all these things happen in your lives, there is a certain kind of a decision that comes from that internal space of um, you engaging in your thoughts. Similarly, the characters are driven by actions and motivations. So you have to keep those things in mind while writing or developing your characters. These decisions need to be easy to identify, clear, and something that most of us can identify with. Write characters that people tend to identify with. Okay, that's how they become popular. Okay, you can place your story in wherever you want, but remember that they are going to move around with those basic set of human emotions. Um, even the extreme ones are also the part of this human universe. It's not something that goes beyond. Whether you take up, uh, you know, a snake story or you take up a story that is happening in another universe, like um, or animation characters. Any 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 fictional film um, across genre are going to ha have characters imbibe human qualities. So it's your understanding, your judgment, your examination of acute examination of human nature or human understanding um, and the worldview that they operate in, um, which which is going to matter. So your identifications of their decisions um, are going to help you play alongside how the audiences or the readers are going to treat those characters. Sometimes it could be funny, sometimes the characters are uh, strong, sometimes they are weak. All these things, you know, kind of touch upon human trajectories or human behavioral pattern. So when you are developing characters, keep those things in mind that who are you writing for? So writing this kind of screenplay will require a little more thought, our planning and guts. Okay, um, I do a lot of character sketching first. Uh, you know, there, there are many people, many writers who have different kind of approaches. Um, when people ask me how do I proceed with the story, I usually proceed with characters. I have characters, I have bank of characters. I try to develop over a period of time, and then um, slowly, while developing those characters, their stories would emerge and then a larger story would come together. So if your approach is something where you are interested in, um, you know, human actions, human behavior, um, their motivations, what they do or do not do in society, how society approves or disapproves of uh, uh, their movements, of their essential understanding of life, or their decision-making, those things are eventually going to be a part of the narrative that you are going to develop. But no matter what, writing a great script always requires sitting down and hashing it out. So you might as well write the kind of story you want to write. So um, whatever you develop, if um, your narrative is 
taking a trajectory where characters play a significant role, then you have to pay attention to all the things that we are going to do. We have discussed so far and we are going to discuss. Find the real voice for that lovable but misunderstood character that's locked inside your head. And many a times, um, human beings are, you know, I consider human beings to be very depressed and we don't live fully. Neither we live fully and neither we are encouraged to live fully. Now, what, what it means, what, what complete how far you can push yourself, at least while developing a story, to be honest and truthful um, to the universe that you are creating. So if your character um, you know, is a bad guy, how much of badness he is going to uh, harness in order to destroy that universe that you are trying to do? If it's a good guy, how, how good is that character? Are you taking a moralistic standpoint while developing the characters? What sort of um, what sort of a character real nature you are bringing in while developing that story? So often we come across characters we misunderstand in our real lives. Similarly, in our narratives, misunderstood characters should also also be given a chance who you don't want to fiddle around or delve much into because they're uncomfortable. So. Art, the, the primary objective of art, how I see it, is it pushes you to ask very uncomfortable questions. Uncomfortable questions about yourself, uncomfortable questions about your nears and dears, your families, friends, and the universe that you might or might not um, immediately relate to, know about. But then we keep thinking in our heads, right? So there are so many thoughts locked up inside our head. So try to kind of unthread them and see um, after you untie them, what kind of misunderstood characters emerge because they could add value and layers to the narrative. Coming of age genre provides any good example of a character driven screenplay, for example, Boyhood, um, 20th Century Woman, or The Florida Project. The Before Trilogy, Sunrise, Sunset, and Midnight are character driven romantic dramas. These are examples of uh, how, how best character driven screen plays were written. All these films, uh, I am. Um, uh, I hope that you have seen. If you have not seen, there they are great examples of how character driven screen plays um, take a story or hold a story together and uh, move forward. Subverting genre expectations. Um, this also happens quite often in screen plays. What does that mean? Let's look at it. It's possible to find new takes on familiar genres and stories by adjusting the balance between a plot-driven and character-driven screenplay. How do we create that sort of a balance? There are several recent examples from, let's say, from a sci-fi genre, Annihilation, adapted by Alex Garland, follows a team of scientists and soldiers on a mission to find out what's mysterious Shimmer is. A framing device reveals that most of them did not make it back. However, there are bigger mysteries in the ensemble of characters. So if you have seen Annihilation, if you haven't seen, please go and watch Annihilation sometime if you're free. Um, and then you realize what I'm talking about in terms of uh, the movement of the characters, the relationship dynamic, the power equations that exist between those characters and how um, how large uh, their, their ambitions or their motivation becomes than the individual individuals who are uh, presented in that story. Who are they and why they have their volunteer for a suicide mission? Another story is Arrival, written by Eric Hazard. Likewise, finds a new take on its genre by tilting towards the character driven screenplay. The plot begins with the army contacting an expert scientist, Amy Adams, for help, making contacts with the extraterrestrials, as many alien invasions films do. I mean, all the alien invasion films that you would come across would have this kind of uh, a narrative or a sequence where you know there is some sort of a communication between um, the earthly people, people from the earth and those people who are extraterrestrial in nature. And then what emerges out of it is what the story is going to be. How the story begins with a character experiencing the loss of child. Okay, so how this, this small thing, um, which you might think that, okay, maybe it is immaterial or it's not something that is going to add value is going to have a larger impact later into the narrative. Spike Jones, her establishes a complex 
future society produces it to tell a character driven story that's extremely enduring um i would request everyone to watch hers if you have not seen it then uh lenny ramses film you were never really here is a greeting cry prime killer about joe um Joaquin Phoenix, a hammer-wielding hitman. However, like Ramses' previous films, it entirely focuses on its main character and his psychology. Following the plot becomes most incidental to diving deeper into his men mental state. So everything that happens in terms of, um, you know, the actions and events that are picked up for the screenplay are going to follow the the track of the character and are going to add layers and values to the characters. Um, another film that I can think of. Lenny Ramses was uh, is um, you can talk about uh, Kevin, or you should talk about Kevin. Uh, um, uh, you should talk about Kevin. I think that's the film, and that's all. Again, uh, a very interesting examination of um, how character events in plays are written and why um, the layerings and value addition in terms of your story, dialogues, and narrative uh, helps. Really interesting screenplay. Each scene in a story. We need to talk about Kevin. Yes, uh, that's the film. Um, each scene in a script has its own story, its own focus and trajectory. It's not something that is very unusual. But understand that in a character driven screenplay, scene to scene matters because uh, if you are writing a gripping screenplay, your character's development. Throughout and the kind of choices he or she is going to make is going to define the action portion. So the focus has to be somewhere on the scenes. On an individual level, a scene can be plot or character driven. Many of the best moments in plot driven films come from character driven scenes. Okay, understand this correlation. Many of the best moments in plot driven films, films which are extremely plot driven, also comes from the character driven scenes. Because it's basically the characters who are driving the scenes. Like I um, told you before, that uh, if there are actions and events, and that, then it needs to happen. It doesn't happen in vacuum. There are things that are going to happen. And who are going to do it? It's the characters who are going to do it. So characters are the ones who are driving the scene, even if the narrative, large narrative, is going to be plot driven. For example, Die Hard is a quintessential modern action movie, often imitated, but rarely better. The script is credited to Ebb Stewart and Stephen E. D'Souza from Todrick Trop's novel. Okay, it's an adaptation that had eventually went on to become a series. Sometimes it gets stuck. All right. One of um one of its best moment is when villain Hans Ruber Lang Alan Rickman comes face to face with isolated hero cop John McClane. That's the protagonist, which is played by Bruce Willis. So far, they've only spoken over the radio. Ruber puts on an American accent and poses as one of the hostages. The scene is full of plot-driven tension. Will McLean figure out this other man is Hans Gruber in time? However, it also allows for a respite in the actionary plot in which both characters get to know each other. Um, their conversations eventually matters, and they are going to um, engage in some sort of conversation that is, that is going to pan out how next part of the narrative is um, going to be. Similarly, the radio conversations between McLean and Sergeant Al Pavel, the only policeman outside who will listen to him, are crucial to the pacing of the film. The exchange information that's vital for the plot, but also open so each other, they also open up to each other and grow as characters. So understand that it's the evolution and the development of the characters that at the end of the day counts in the narrative. Um, when we look at TV, one of the one of my favorites and one of the most popular you know series is Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad is character driven by Alter White with several key secondary characters such as Gus Fring, 
One example is the Breaking Bad episode with Fly. The plot is simple. Walter White becomes obsessed with finding and killing a fly in his lab, thinking it will contaminate his product. Okay, those of you who have seen Breaking Bad uh, will be able to uh, kind of uh, memorize that particular episode. The fly becomes a metaphor for Walter losing control in his life. It is a key character building moment leading to Walt and Jesse talking about their feelings and their families. And that gives you, you know, uh, offers you an alternative to the main characters and the actions and the events that is happening. So you, you are subconsciously taken back to their lives. Okay, learning from character driven screenplay. What do you learn? What draws you to the story? What enters your imagination first? The character or the plot? Like I told you some time back, um, I choose character, somebody could choose plot. It purely depends on how you want to approach the story. In some ways, a plot driven and character driven screenplay is a false binary. It's more like a spectrum. Each story will fall in a few places. That's why I said that it's, once you start writing, it, it comes from a very person's base. Okay, each of the narrative that you're going to put forward is going to come from a very personal sort of a space. So how you are taking it, what's the tangent you are going to take, what's the slant you are using in terms of the development is going to define whether um, it's plot heavy or character heavy. Thinking on the level of individual scenes can be helpful. So you don't approach a screenplay from a point of view of a plot or, or characters. If you have characters which are enduring or close, to you and you keep thinking about it or if there are situations um, or actions that are going to matter to you then you try to weave one against the another and see what sort of a thread is coming out of it so think from scenes to scenes if your story gets stuck consider switching up between character driven and plot driven scenes um, that's one of the relatively easier way to deal with such kind of uh, a situation where you are unable to proceed forward. Introduce plot, plot development where the characters have to respond to the quick action. So it's the decisions that are going to eventually matter, right? So whatever decisions that they're going to take would have consequences. And those consequences are going to get reflected in the screenplay or the narrative through actions and events. So introduce plot development or slow or pause the action while not letting up the tension to deep dive into the characters their interpersons and internal conflicts. So it's basically their interpersonal lives, the internal conflicts, the insecurities, the vibes that they get, the vibes that they offer. Those are the things that add values and layers to the narrative. So these are your primary learnings from character driven screenplay. And uh, that's more or less what I wanted to share about uh, how character heavy screenplays are written or discussed or analyzed. Now you can go out and see what sort of characters have stayed with you um, in terms of stories or narratives. If you have not ever, you know, um, been ambitious around writing a screenplay and if you have to do one at this point in time, it's about time you start thinking uh, whether you are going to take the path of developing a story by using multiple plots or a single plot that is strong enough uh, to help you get started or if you have characters, bunch of characters which you find are interesting and engaging enough in terms of the story, you start developing them. Thank you. Stopping here.